What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS and I'm bringing you guys a video. Uh, something absolutely insane went down just yesterday. So yesterday meaning on Thursday. And it seems like I'm making one of these videos about once a week it seems like. And what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and check out some replays. Uh, we did just match uh, Faked Wargasm. A couple days ago, we did get the victory, 112 to 109. I will say, though, you guys know I'm fair, I'm transparent. We did have, for the first time in a very long time, uh, we had an advantage this war. And not only an advantage, a pretty big one, too. I was surprised we even matched. We did... We were even in Town Hall 11s, we each had six, but we did have three extra Town Hall 10s this war, so we did take advantage of it, getting the victory over uh, Fake Wargasm. Best of luck to them in the playoff round that they have going down this weekend, which does kind of lead me into you know, what, what this video is going to be about, what we're actually going to be talking about. So we go ahead and watch uh, a couple replays here. So, modding. And modding in the CWL in a fair play league. Again, if you guys missed the video I put out, uh, as far uh, it was called Corrupted War League. I believe I put that out a couple weeks ago. And here we kind of have it again. So a few days ago, we had uh, a couple, a, a few well known people from War Wales, who, again, War Wales was, was already removed from CWL a few weeks ago. And since then, a couple members, uh, we don't have to mention names, but basically left the clan, I believe, to go open mod. But they were not modding in War Wills. At least that, you know, that's what they're saying. We'll just take them at their word. But they are leaving to go open mod. And, and then the next day, which would have been Thursday now of this week, we had something insane happen where we had a huge ban wave from Supercell. Yes, from Supercell. Maybe maybe Supercell watched the uh, Corrupted War League video. At any rate, uh, so they had they did a big ban wave. And not only that, three clans, three invite, uh, three CWO invite clans have now been removed. So the eight original clans that were going to be in the semifinals going down this weekend. Three out of the eight guys have been removed. The three clans, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about each one, uh, just going off of the knowledge or the information given to me. So the first one is uh, SK, which is the acronym for Suomi Kotkat. So they were, their clan basically disbanded. Uh, I believe they had four people. They had a few bands earlier on in the season, but because leadership was involved, they still were playing in the CWL. And then they had the band, then Supercell did the band wave. They had, I believe, four members banned uh, from their clan, and they basically uh, disbanded. Uh, the clan is just gone. So, and we have some really nice attacks here from Kieran on this one. At any rate, so they disbanded. They remove themselves from the playoffs. More than likely, they remove themselves in lieu of getting kicked from the CWL. But anyway, at any rate, they are out. So SK, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of them who are watching this video. They are out of the CWL in the invite. Second clan uh, that has basically been removed as well is IT, which is the acronym for Immoral Thieves. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of them. And they were also going to be in the playoffs uh, this weekend. So they had two members banned. Uh, their, their leadership team basically released a statement saying that they, you know, because they had Mars in the clan, they didn't feel it was necessary to continue playing in a fair play league. I don't even believe they're going to be in season three. So they really dropped the hammer and uh, basically remove, got removed from CWL. And I believe they pulled their app in season three. I could be wrong on that. Just going off of the little bit of information that I have received and, you know, what I've heard. The third one, which is the the biggest one, guys, the biggest one. Saving the best for last year is the Swarm. Uh, TS has, uh, we'll go ahead and look at it so you guys can see it. Uh, you know, a lot of people have heard of this happening, but haven't actually seen it or how do you find it. So 
I, I could be wrong on the members, but I believe they had 13 accounts. I don't want to say 13 members because some are saying that one guy had access to a bunch of different accounts within the clan and that's why they all got banned. Whether that's true or not, uh, only time will tell, but I believe it was 13 or 14 accounts were banned from Supercell uh, for modding or using third-party software. And not only that, guys, their, their clan, the Swarm, received a 14-day ban from Supercell. So what does a 14-day ban actually mean? Uh, and, and to me, I believe this is only the third time I've actually seen it happen. Uh, the first one was from OHG way back. I believe it was even, no, no, yeah, it was season one. Uh, just a few wars in, uh, they had a 14-day ban. Beautiful attack by Kieran on this one. Uh, that other Italian clan, I can't remember their name, they also received a 14-day ban. Skyfall received a 14-day ban, but they were not in uh, CWL. And now, right now, with the Swarm receiving a 14-day ban, again, what does that mean? That means they can't even do a friendly war. They cannot spin a war, and anybody who is... So the clan can't do it, can't war, and the people who ha were participating in the wars while the modding was going on, you know, also received that 14 day ban, meaning they can't even, uh, spin, you know, if they went somewhere else. So two weeks of no wars that, that is absolutely insane. So uh, again, guys, we're talking about clans in the playoffs modding you know, getting kicked, getting banned, Supercell dropping the hammer, taking the war community by storm. I mean, as, as far as I, you know, as far as I know, you know, maybe you guys know something different. I had no idea this was going to be happening, uh, basically until it happened. And I cannot believe it. It's, it's just so sad. And, and one person made a comment in, in the last video. I'm, I'm honestly trying, I'm not trying to self promote here. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, make some connections here is one of the guys who did the 11 V 11 in the J off war. Okay. Just follow me. Uh, one of the guys who did 11 V 11 in the J off war left a comment, uh, you know, down in the comment section. And he was saying that, you know, it's more, more along the lines of it's sad because when someone does do a good attack, or, you know, when someone, you know, just has an amazing attack because of all this modding and accusations and all these things going on, it, to me, it's, it's truly a slap in the face to someone who is fair play. And we know that there's a lot of fair play guys who are very trolly and, you know, just not good people, but they're not modding. But, you know, if, if someone is fair play and again, has an amazing attack, the other clan in the other chat could be, oh, you know, was that modded? You know, there's no way that was fair play. And it's be, and it's kind of happened because of what, you know, these Mars have done. So now you're going to look back again, looking back in, in our, uh, the CWL, uh, channel on YouTube, you know, you look at the top 10 raids and now you're going to look at those and wonder, you know, how many of these attacks were actually fair play? How many of these attacks, you know, didn't, you know, how, basically did this person hit this base a hundred times before it actually, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> before it actually went live. And it's kind of like, if you guys know the story, uh, or the, you know, the, the, fa the, is it called a, a fable, right? Of, you know, the boy who cried wolf, you know, the boy who cried wolf, the one time the wolf actually shows up, uh, you know, the one time the, the, the boy actually, or the, the, the wolf actually shows up, um, it, it's actually the real wolf shows up. So what, you know, what I'm trying to say is, so now when you watch a really good attack, you're not actually going to know if it's fair play or not, you know, you know, was that hit modded? And it's just the whole thing is just being so stained and so corrupted. Again, why, you know, why I did that other video on, on the corrupted war league. And it's for this very reason, guys, we have, we had eight clans who made it, whoever we were saying were beast clans who made it into the, not only made it into the playoffs, made it past the opening round going into the semifinals. There's only a few weeks left until we get to the finals. Yet we find out that three out of the eight 
top clans in the world have now been eliminated from the CWO for cheating. So, and it, again, and I said it before, it's just kind of, it's slowly but surely really tainting the name uh, to fair play. And if you look inside these, I believe the swarm, I believe their description is blank right now, but you look in these clans, they have fair play. It's the, and if you don't notice, it's the first thing written in these clan descriptions. Uh, it's even the first thing written, in, you know, in, in our clan. We're also fair play. You can you can notice that just by looking at our war log. But I, I'll tell you right now, FFS has yet to catch a ban at all. And you know, I did make a little announcement thanking everybody. Um, you know that we're playing the game how it was intended to be played. And you know about you know and, and about the War Wills thing. Uh, you know I know I know their names been brought up a lot lately in the last few weeks especially with the recent news of three people leaving to go open mod it does kind of make you wonder whether they were you know modding before or hey i've never modded but i'm gonna leave to go do that it, it just you know it obviously seems or you know just sounds kind of crazy but i mean there's a possibility uh you know you can't rule anything out again innocent till proven guilty but it definitely does kind of you know raise you know raise an eyebrow you know you're gonna leave fair play you know because of how tainted it is to go mod in you know you know another another clan i don't know it just it, it just saying it just you know sounds kind of weird but i uh you know i definitely just wanted to you know get a video out to you guys uh there we hit replay i just want to get a video out to you guys again just kind of hashtag just saying here uh you know i felt it was necessary especially you know with the, with the playoffs nearing and I don't know if Supercell just did an invite ban. I don't know if they just, you know, did it just for invite. I mean, nothing happened down in, you know, MLCW, in Light, uh, Rising, Premiere, none of that. It was just invite. And ironically enough, ironically enough, again, I can't, I can't say enough. Three out of the eight clans, just think about that, um, have been eliminated from the CWL, one of them even catching a 14-day clan ban from Supercell. However, because of this, now that doesn't mean there's going to be a bunch of automatic wins given. The 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 three clans who warred against uh, Swomi Kotkat, the Swarm, and Immoral Thieves have now all, they're all back in the game now. Uh, so the three, again, I don't cover, uh, I don't cover Invite, you know, my main niche is Premier, but the three clans who have basically given a, you know, a, a new life is Dark Looter Z. Big shout out to them. We also have Warring Glory, who is now uh, back in the playoffs. And the kind of odd one, but they are back in, shout out to them, we just ward them, is Six Schlitzes. Again, I, I could be wrong here. But I believe they just had two members of their clan band uh, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, don't need to mention names if you do the research. I'm, you know, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. But they just had two members that you know received bans from Supercell first from the CWL, then Supercell banned them, and now they've been you know reinvited back into the playoffs. I don't understand it. I'm not knocking on uh, Six Schlitzes whatsoever. Uh, my information could be wrong for all I know, but just really interesting. And I just wanted to get a video out to you guys about what's going on. So again, the three clans that are replacing SK, the Swarm, and IT are War and Glory, Dark Looter Z, and Six Schlitzes are now all going to be in the playoffs going down this weekend. So there are still, uh, you know, four wars that are going to be going on for the semifinals in invite. Just, again, just want to get something out uh, with all the recent news that happened. I thought it was more than necessary and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I got my facts right too. Again, I'm just trying to be honest, transparent, all that good stuff like I always am. And speaking of like, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.